I'm gonna take you through a twisting lunge today with a little extra attention to detail to help it serve your body the best. I really love twists for digestion, for opening rib cage, thoracic mobility that can help your shoulders, improving your rib cage stack over your pelvis that can improve your breathing, as well as make your hips happier. The thing with a lot of yoga poses is sometimes we focus a little too much on how dramatic we can make the pose versus where's the movement actually coming from. So when we go to do that, if we tend to really over dramatize and kind of make us move excessively from one area, we might end up hanging in that tissue and hanging on end range that can lead to wear and tear over time. So first let's look at the base component of a lunge. So when we're in a lunge, we're gonna have that left foot forward, that right leg back, Again, people have that tendency to hang forward where it feels like, oh, I'm getting this really great stretch in the front of my back hip, when in fact we're maybe hanging on the front of that hip and contributing to potential irritation into that right hip flexor, labral, dis uh, labral injuries, and front hip capsule kind of being overly lengthened. So instead, we're gonna focus on holding back a little bit and giving us more support through our pelvis to help support the front of our hips and then let us stretch and expand from there. That is also gonna be important when we're looking to then get the most out of our rotation to isolate that thoracic spine and making sure we're not going from other places. So we're in this lunge position. We're making sure that left knee is right over that left ankle. You're hugging those legs in towards each other. So you're thinking of this right hip dropping down, like you're squeezing a giant beach ball and that left inner thigh engaging as well. So both inner thighs will be engaging with that left knee staying pointed straight ahead. So you wanna make sure that left knee doesn't collapse in. Then we're making sure we're reaching back through that right leg while you're lunging forward at the same time. So it's a little bit of a, a tug of war, but in support with it. So hugged, reach back, reach forward, and you can see how much support and lift that gives to my pelvis and feeling those lower abs engage. Then we're gonna take our right hand off to the side of the mat a little bit more to create a little bit more space for us to be able to rotate into. So I'm gonna put my left hand on my left thigh. I'm gonna press into that. That's gonna help me make sure that I don't get my rotation by overextending in my back, but keeping those ribs dropped down, keeping those ribs stacked over your hips. So press to con keep connected there, keeping the right shoulder open so that right shoulder isn't dropped forward. And then I'm gonna rotate. You can even take that left hand, kind of pull that bottom rib down around, making sure that your hips don't change at all and then that left arm can float up towards the ceiling from there, rather than reaching back with that arm and making that rotation happen from your shoulder doing it instead of thinking about it happening from our rib cage. So looking at it from this angle, you'll be able to see that I'm here, hugged in, reach back, lunge forward, right hand off to the side like a kickstand. You can always put a block underneath that right hand if it's too hard to get here. That left hand's gonna be on that thigh. I'm gonna press to keep those ribs connected. I'm making sure that right shoulder doesn't drop forward, but staying slightly back. And then I'm gonna rotate with just those ribs up towards the ceiling. My left knee doesn't splay out. My hip doesn't hike up. And then that left arm comes up. So you're thinking like you're between two planes of glass, one on the front of you and one behind, pressing into that ground, reaching up towards the ceiling, reaching back, reaching forward. So you can really feel that connection to the midline and then expanding from there with it. So hopefully with that afterwards, maybe you feel like you can breathe a little bit more easily. Maybe you feel like you can raise your arms a little bit more easily. Maybe it just feels better and more supported. Maybe you had to work a little bit, right? So the idea is making sure that we're giving ourselves that good support and stability, getting that mobility from the areas that are gonna be the most beneficial to get that movement from that maybe isn't moving as well as we would like to and get the most out of our poses.